All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm here for part two of this crazy sunbeat RV detail. Uh, we're just pulling up, about to get started for day two. Let me turn you around. So if you remember from part one, I took care of the back right here where it's all glossy, and then this section here still needs a uh, final polish, which it is definitely going to get. But you can see, got to get all that glue off first. That's the biggest pain. So I've got my lovely wife here, Tony, that's going to be scrubbing the glue while I'm polishing. Um, the first order of business today, the sides aren't going to be super easy, but they're going to be far easier than this front piece. Um, I also will be polishing that whole cab, but... This front cap is always the worst situation on an RV. So I'm actually gonna get rolling on that today. First order of business obviously is get all those love bugs off uh, of the whole front end. So that's, that's what I'm gonna do first. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pressure washer and make that happen uh, so that I can get up there on the ladder and I'm gonna get all of that cut and polished and coated and then I'll move on to probably this side. And then uh, in part three, we'll take care of the other side. Actually, well, I might do vice versa. Since I've already started on this side, I've got a decent chunk of it done. After that cap, I'm gonna go ahead and try to knock this side out. And then for part three, the final day, I'm gonna go ahead and get this side done and the cab. So. That's the plan, and you can see how disgusting that looks. It's all sun beat and faded, and uh, got to get it straight. All right, so I'm going to get out the ladder and the pressure washer and all that stuff and get it knocked out. I'll uh, bring you back when we have some progress on uh, this part two situation. All right. We got Tony over here getting the uh, glue off the side. While I'm up here working on this cap, this should be the most difficult part of the whole RV. I just got up there. I'm using the new 2020 Tiger's Blood, two ounces uh, to 14 ounces of water. And uh, it removed the bugs really well from the cap. I just got up there and scrubbed it down. So now, I'm going to get on the polishing and we'll go from there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is, we're close to the end of part two. We've got about 20 more minutes. We're going to work on this thing for uh, part two here. And what I did today was, as you can see, this is all glossy now. So we removed all the glue from the wrap that was on there. I got all the mold and mildew from the the gutter up there. Cleaned all of that. I even polished that little section in between the gutter and then that rail there. So there and there, all down. I polished all that. Polished all but the back section of this today. So from right here back. Well, actually it was between the four and winds back there. Um, and then so I polished all that um my wife tony here is on the cab duty currently uh bug the, duty. huh bug duty. that's right bug duty um i also got rid of all the oxidation from that front cap right there um it's not finished yes you probably see swirls in it now you will not when i'm done uh so i compounded it all with my gel coat oxidation eater uh compounding polish from detailjuice.com it's from my marine series so uh, this is fiberglass reinforced plastic uh, which is uh, gel coated over and so that's what we're doing see how this side looks all all kinds of dull uh, I did a little test spot over here yesterday you can see the difference uh, the glue wasn't removed from the top portion it was removed from the bottom you can see a clear difference I mean, literally, it's clearer on the bottom than the top. But anyway, you can see how bad this is. 
the glue is everywhere and that's half the battle tony spent all of today trying to remove the glue from the other side so this side we haven't done anything to we still got to remove all the glue still got to polish everything um but i got the cap done she's working on the cab now i've got the driver's side over here done and i got the back done uh in part one so looks great very happy with the outcome so far these love bugs are everywhere swarming everywhere as we work on this thing we're pushing these stupid bugs out of the way i mean they're horrible so that's going to wrap up part two so check out detailjuice.com for all my products if you got questions about my products give me a call 813-846-4406 or send me a text message whatever makes it more convenient for you and then uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. If you want to learn how to do this, I can show you how to do that. So just reach out, let me know, and uh, I can take you through what products and process you need to uh, sort something like this out. Um, I can tell you that this is a lot of work, and uh, we pride ourselves in doing the absolute best work that you can find for any money. Uh, we charge a fair price for high quality work. That's all that I do is high quality work. We don't half ass anything. It's just not worth it to me to put out any effort if I'm not gonna do it right. So thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day. Check uh, for uh, the next part. There'll be at least one more part. Uh, I will be back here all day tomorrow, I'm sure, finishing up uh, the other side and then uh, doing a polish and putting on my uh, Ceram Acrylics Pro Hybrid coating on everything. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.